All right, so now I'm gonna demonstrate to you guys uh, how to do a surgeon's knot. So surgeon's knots are useful because they provide extra tension uh, in approximating the edges of the wound. So first start by driving the needle in, uh, try to go perpendicular to the skin and then take a nice smooth bite towards the other side, pull the needle out, and then um, pull the string all the way until you have a short side and a long side. Um, the shorter the better just because it makes it easier when it comes to tying the knot in my opinion. So we're going to keep pulling it until you have a shorter tail. Now you always start with putting your instrument, your needle driver, directly parallel to the actual cut itself. Wrap around twice for a surgeon's knot. So that is a surgeon's knot by definition. You wrap around twice, then pull the short end and then pull your hands on opposite sides just like that. Now you want, to you want to reset again by putting your instrument again parallel to the cut just like you did in the beginning. But this time you only do one throw around your instrument and then grab the short end and then pull your hands again towards opposite sides. Always pull your hands towards the opposite sides. You want to keep doing this until you have at least four or five throws uh, on the knot. Um, so again you always start by having your instrument parallel to the cut, grab the short end and then just pull. Once you have about four or five, you should have enough tension and enough of stability on the knot um, to where you can then just grab the two strings together, grab the scissors uh, from the package, and then you can uh, cut the string. The way to do the cutting, um, once you have the strings in your hand, is you wanna go and then angulate a little bit. Once you get the scissors in, you wanna angulate a little bit because that'll give you a little bit of room so that you don't cut the strings too short. 